Hey everybody, so this is like day five or six out in the swamps. Uh, like three days ago, I know I had to run to the Jeep and had to backtrack to get camera equipment and then just get back out here, but, cause cameras got wet, it's a long story. But anyways, this is, yeah, like day five or six. I, I honestly, I can't remember anymore how long I've actually officially been out here in the swamps. But this is the driest place I found where the ground actually feels crunchy. And uh, I'm breaking up my campsite right now. And uh, the ground is barely wet. It's still a little wet, but look at how dry this is. So looking at the map, this is one mile of some type of uh, pine wood, not pine wood, it is something. But as you can tell, I'm very tired too. So it's very demoralizing, a lot of it. Not in a bad way, but I'm giving you a heads up. If you do try this, you're going to feel demoralized. It's because you have to put on the wet socks. You have to put on the wet shoes in the morning. You put on wet shorts back in the morning. And yeah, your legs and everything hurt because you're pushing through water. They're going like this and that muscles are constantly being used. You think walking through water is easy, but walk it for a few miles and you're gonna really start feeling your legs. And yeah, I'm feeling my shins are hurting, my upper legs, my thighs are killing me. And it does, it gets really demoralizing. And then you just really wanna find land too after being in the water for a few hours. You're like, where is land at, at this point? So if you do attempt this at this time of year, I think this thing dries up in a month or two, uh, which would be crazy <laughs> to see. But if you do try this during the wet season and everything and it's really wet, then just be prepared mentally that you're going to feel demoralized. And it's okay. As long as you're mentally there, hey, it's demoralized. There's nothing I can do. I think I'm still two days, at least two days away from getting out of here. And uh, yeah, so I just have to mentally prepare. My whole plan today is to get really a little bit slow because everything is hurting. I heard that uh, if I can do 12 miles today, I might get a little bit of cell service, which is kind of interesting to see after a few days. Did anybody message me? Does anybody care? Hmm. <laughs> so that would be really cool to see. But uh, there's a campsite six miles away, a campsite eight miles away, and the eight miles, the deepest point of the trail, Black Lagoon. I heard it was pretty deep, and uh, that may be a good stopping point if I can do eight miles today. And yeah, I'm still averaging at least one mile an hour if I'm lucky, especially through the water. But this section here, I'll be able to fly by, and because uh, it's dry, hopefully. But even the dry sections, there's limestone with holes. That limestone's crazy too. Okay. There's my morning update. I'm gonna get to it and eight miles is the deepest section. Let's see if I can make it today, right? I hear alligator. At least I think you're an alligator. I can't see in the forest though. I'm on this island. I think it's Oak Island and it's surrounded by water. There's definitely a gator out there though. I wonder how big he is or she. Maybe she wants to cuddle. New girlfriend, yay.
Yeah! I have made fire! Ah! Woo! 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 -hoo! That's right, bird! Scream with me! Ah! <laughs> this is my island. Ah! Hey everybody, so there's something definitely moving in the water. I think maybe just a turtle, alligator snapper turtle, right? But I'm trying to keep a lookout, but the water, you can't see the bottom, but it's not too deep. It's almost to my knees, almost. Some spots it gets a little deeper and stuff, but I don't know. The water movement was coming from over there. So maybe it was an alligator. Maybe I just kind of spooked it, scared it away. So maybe it's checking me out. It's really hard to tell because they're kind of uh, really dark green, black, and they just blend in so well with this water. So I could be stepping right over one and I wouldn't actually know. So yeah, a lot of turtles out here though too. So, you know, they could be sitting on the lo logs and just jumped off or something. Not enough sun really to be basking in the, on a log though. So. Yeah, I don't see water moving. But neither does a gazelle when it goes for a drink. They stealthy. Did you hear that? Hey everybody. So definitely that last video, there was a big splash. It was actually right in front of me. So I'm facing this way now. So I yelled, is there another human out here? No, there's no way 
well, there's nowhere to camp or anything. They'd have to be crazy night hiking to have made it out here if they didn't camp where I camped. So that was a big splash though, whatever that was. That wasn't a turtle. But uh, yeah, the water's gotten deeper almost to my knees now, or to my knees. So, I don't know. Anyways, crazy being alone, right? Who wishes they were with me? So if you see this footage, obviously I made it out alive, or it's in a waterproof case and you found it. So, last words, hey, I, I love you. <laughs> still hear it moving. Something's moving out there. It wasn't as loud, but it's over there. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I'm putting this back in the waterproof case. Bye. You're over here somewhere. What are you? What could you be? Come out, come out. Well, don't come out, please. Hey everybody, so this is by far the scariest swamp I've been in. It's the Black Lagoon. You can only see this far down and it's knee to waist deep, most of it. And right now it's knee, knee deep where I'm standing. So some spots you fall into little holes and stuff like that it gets waist deep. And there's definitely a lot of creatures out here. Lots of big splashes I heard over there. And yeah, if I'm going to say, oh, I'm not completely not scared, then no, I'm a complete idiot. I have to be on my guard. And I think if I was with somebody else or with a good friend and uh, or with a group of people, I think this would be a lot less scary because we're a big pack and no gator wants to take on a pack. But yeah, sorry, I had to check behind me real quick. There was actually a log that freaked me out there for a second right here. So... Yeah, all these uh, logs, but yeah, you, you can only see just this far to the bottom. I mean, you can only see this far before it just gets completely dark, pitch black. You don't know where you're stepping. You could be stepping right over an alligator. So this is their home turf. And if you're thinking, oh, this isn't scary at all, then yeah, come out here and try it alone and tell me what it is, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I... I I think only an idiot wouldn't have their guard up at this point. But right now, I'm just here. I'm just going to try to respect nature as much as possible here. Anyways, my biggest fear in life is getting eaten by an alligator. So this brings up all my childhood memories of how many nightmares I had growing up as a child that I couldn't go to the bathroom at night because if I had to go potty, go pee, that an alligator was waiting under my bed to eat me. And this is almost feels like a self-fulfilling prophecy, me being out here alone. However, I'm facing my greatest fear. And yeah, the more and more I'm out here, the less, less scary it is. But again, I still haven't run into a giant, cro uh, giant. there is crocodiles in Florida, but they're saltwater crocs. Uh, I haven't run into an actual alligator yet. So not a big mama anyways. Yeah, I may be saying something different if I run into a giant alligator. There's honestly nothing I can really do. If you want to survive an alligator attack, you have to put your fingers in their nose. But I mean, they're biting you. So what's the chances of you doing it oh yeah okay an alligator wrestler gave a tip on if you want to survive an alligator attack but i don't think it's going to be really possible is you have to i guess once they're biting down on you and they do that roll i think they can just rip off a limb that way you need to take your thumbs your fingers and put it in their nose don't go for their eyes go for their nose most very very sensitive their nose jab it in there they're going to release you and that's probably your best chance of survival However, I think if you're getting bit, I think if an alligator is willing to attack you, then I think your chances of survival are pretty low. But 
just a little piece of advice. So if you want to try to survive an alligator attack, that came directly from an alligator wrestler who actually picks up alligators and stuff on how to survive an alligator attack is the best course is to go for the nose. Don't go for the eyes, but I'm still picturing that once they grab their prey, they like to pull them under, do a roll. They jump up, grab their head. They want to do a twist roll thing. And uh, yeah, so once they do the, the roll, I think that's pretty much it though. Kind of in trouble. So anyways, that was my useful information for today. I'm going to try to get the heck out of this swamp though, because this swamp is scary as heck. All right. Bye everybody. I finally hit a buggy road and I'm walking out of the swamps. I am so happy I am uh, walking out of the swamps officially. It's been a long week. This probably was probably my hardest, probably because solo the most dangerous hike I've ever done. I took so much incredible footage. Day one, I thought I was gonna die for sure. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be a garner. It was the most terrifying thing. This is the easy swamp things. The other swamp stuff is dangerous, falling through holes. It's so crazy to have a uh, internet service again. It's been a long time. I feel like I've been disconnected from the world. <laughs> yeah, the kid's mom and her husband actually said I could stay in the garage. It's a little bit more roomy since it's only temporary. That was super sweet of them. A little bit better than living in the car. And uh, yeah, so anyways, it's like, well, yeah, I'm just going hiking at the beginning of the year anyway, so. Thank you so much. So I think they're actually gonna come pick me up, uh, Andrew and Kelowna. And I just have to make it through this uh, last part. And this, they're gonna pick me up and I'm gonna probably stay there for one to two days to recover. And then I'm gonna actually hike the normal Florida trail, not the most dangerous, difficult trail, supposedly in the United States. Seven days out in the swamps. I. Uh, I think day one, I wanted to cry like a baby. Day seven, it's like, oh my God, if I see an alligator, I'll just come up and jump on top of you and hug you. Why not? So 2020, I was super depressed. There's too much going on. Now, new year, new beginnings. Oh yeah, I was carrying this tripod thing. This thing is like a, it feels like a M16 or something. I'm walking around the swamps in or something in Vietnam. And I hope the sun isn't too bright for you all. Oh my God, I'm falling in the water. Ah, uh, actually, I am so thirsty I could jump in. Altogether, it should have been 30 miles, but it ended up being 55 miles. Long story of how I ended up 55 miles through one of the most deadly swamps in America. And I did it by myself. And I made it. Definitely feel like a different person after doing that. Uh, the Big Cypress Preserve, technically it's the uh, part of the Florida Trail. Uh, if you look at gut hooks, it says it's the uh, section is a 30, it's supposed to be 30 miles. Most difficult, uh, dangerous section in North America. And no, and it also gives you warning, do not hike this solo, don't hike it. There's alligators, there's giants, African snakes, there's pythons, there's, uh, what is it, panthers, black bears. I saw lots of snakes. And I ran into so many spider webs. I don't know how many poisonous spiders are in Florida, but you won't believe. I'm just walking through like knee deep, thigh deep water and stuff. And uh, I'm looking down at, see, making sure I'm not gonna step on an alligator snapping turtle or an alligator. And I just run into giant spider webs. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. I'm so close to the highway, maybe a half a mile more. And I officially am done. Definitely. A scary, scary hike to hike solo. I have to like just face my fear. Like, I don't know. Like I said, day one, I was completely terrified. I was hiking through swamps with my knife out. By day three, I, I just stopped caring. And I think I'm on day six or seven. 
and I'm just ready to give an alligator a hug if I see one. So it's really crazy how that fear just went completely away. I'm in Big Cypress Preserve. It's actually the very first 30 miles of the Florida Trail. And like I said earlier, because of faulty camera equipment that was awful, I ended up doing 55 miles because backtracking twice. You have to be really careful with your equipment and especially when you're 90% of it, it's all completely underwater. But no more drinking this swamp water. I'm gonna get a nice cold drink when I make it to the highway. See if I can find a gas station. That sounds epic. I deserve a cold drink. <laughs> this is what the trail looks like ahead of me. This is it's not really a trail though. Oh shoot. Yeah, so I just am in more deep water. But this isn't the scary stuff. Oh, oh my God, a cold beer sounds nice. So they have like some African pythons that they catch them. They have whole clubs now. People that go out and hunt these pythons. There's like over 200,000 of them. They're never gonna stop them, but they're killing alligators and they get huge, like 18 feet. They're massive pythons. And somehow they got released and now they're killing off all the wildlife. So now we have these giant African python things roaming these waters, pretty much, yeah. So these clubs go out and they just go hunt them and kill them. And it's a losing battle, but maybe it's giving the animals time. There's a giant uh, fence here and I was like, what is this keeping it out? Am I gonna get through? But yeah, I think I can get through the gate. Civilization though, this is awesome. <laughs> ah, hello people. Hi. They're great. I, I don't know if they can see me from the highway, but they're here. There is a rest stop 0.3 miles, but oh my God. Okay. Everything hurts. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. I need a doctor. Hey everybody. I officially made it done with the trail and my ride is here. Yay. I am saved. Okay, everybody, I made it. That was hard. Bye.